What's up guys? So with the iPhone 12 Pro, I got a 12 Pro Max, the introduction of the latest iOS, which is iOS 14.3, allows us something as a photographer to capture. I'm going to scroll down the camera and we're going to go down to, whoops, sorry, to formats. And now we have Apple Pro Raw. So Apple Pro Raw show camera control for Pro Raw. Pro Raw is a 12-bit file that uses the linear DNG format to retain more information and dynamic range in the file, providing additional flexibility when editing exposure and white balance. Each file is approximately 25 megabytes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and definitely enable Apple Pro Raw. So essentially what this is, is a true raw file, a DNG file comparable to a drone. So say, for example, with the Mini 2 DJI implemented JPEG Plus RAW, this is essentially the same thing, or very comparable at least. So we're going to go ahead and go to, get out of here, go to Photos, and now we actually have, just so you can see, we're going to scroll down, we got an entire folder set to RAW images. So what I'm going to do is take, let me see, one of these images I think could be kind of nice. Um, just because it's a simple shot, it was two time or 2.5 time lens shot in raw. And let's see what we can pull out of it. So I'm going to airdrop this guy to my iMac that was sent. I'm going to stop the screen recording. I'm going to go ahead and open it and it's going to open right into Photoshop. So as you see, this opens up in the camera raw dialog box, the exact same dialog box or plugin that you would use for any raw file, whether it's an A7R4, a D850, any kind of camera, this is what you're gonna be processing the raw files out of in Photoshop at least. So if you're using Lightroom, it's a similar type of engine, just different layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and tweak a little bit, tweak the saturation, and you can see, so that now with the raw, God, look at that, that's all the snow, it looks like dust on the sensor or something but you can go ahead and recover now highlights and if you see on the snow part like look at this not like i want to do this but with a jpeg i couldn't here i'm going to show you there we go so this is as shot but if i wanted to i can bring detail back in the snow now and recover exposure because it's a proper dng raw file so do you see that Boom, so say you shot it like this, in theory you can recover it a couple stops and get some detail back and recover the file because you are, again, using RAW. So if you were shooting a JPEG, you could never do that, for example. So let me see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and process this thing out a little bit. We got a snowy little scene of a local area. It's a museum, actually. I can go ahead and take a radial filter since this is kind of the focus, this Batavia, which is the town. I could maybe do something like that. There we go. And open that up. And now we have a decent little image. But again, the bottom line is I can work this like a proper camera raw file as opposed to just a JPEG. So it gives me that much more flexibility in doing what I want. Say for example, there's something over here and there's some detail I wanna get back. So I can go and do new smart object via copy and say I wanna focus just on that area. This is just for an example for the tutorial. But I can go ahead and drop the exposure, maybe the highlight a little bit. And you could see now that it's gonna have a little detail, I could do a layer mask, a conceal all layer mask, and just paint in do, 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 like that. And then I could even do Shift Command F and fade that last move a teeny bit. And again, you can do all kinds of things now. So as you see, just in case you don't want something so bright on that little end. But again, you can tweak and do a lot more with your files now shooting in the pro raw file format now if i wanted to take this image for example and print it i can go ahead and flatten the image i'm going to 
do command J to do another layer, a duplicate layer. Say I want to get this out of there because it's doing nothing. I think it's a light post. Um, let me go and get some of these little specks out of there because it looks like dust even though it's snow. And kind of clean up a little bit. Even though, again, it's snow and natural looking, sometimes if you're knowing you're going to end up printing it, you want to make sure you're prepping the file for a print because that's the output that you're going to be doing. And if you know it's going to look kind of spotty or something, why not clean it up because it's not really doing any justice for the actual print. So let me see. I'm going to hit Command-0, get back out of there. Let me play around one more time. I'm going to hit Command T and I'm going to go into here and go into Transform and Distort and straighten up these lines. I'm going to hit Command R to get the rulers out, the guides, and maybe straighten up. Uh, maybe straighten up the line a little bit like that. Maybe bring out another ruler over here. That looks all right for the most part. And there we go. So I'm going to hide everything before, after. So a little bit straighter looking. When you're retouching and working on an image, be aware that you can keep on going with it. I mean, the more you know, the more you're going to be able to correct the image and make it look better. So if you shoot real estate, you're going to know you want straight lines. You want walls to be straight. So let me see like that. So I'm going to use this guide to kind of determine whether or not stuff looks straight. But that compared to that, I think looks better. So we have that going. I'm going to flatten it. And now I can go ahead and let me see. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff up here one more time. Hit Command J. So I'm working on a duplicate file or layer, I'm sorry. And just clean up some of this mess over here. And what I can do from here is upload it to somewhere where I can sell it and then I could promote it on Facebook or whatever I want and share a link. So I'll use Smug Mug for the interim. I'm actually getting a new site designed and built right now, a WordPress site, but I do have Smug Mug because it's inexpensive and it works and they work with Bay Photo, which is a really great lab out in California. And there we go. So now I can save this and I'm going to save it into a Batavia folder I have in my Smug Mug. So Smug Mug Batavia Gallery. Oop, backspace. And I'll just do Snowy Depot Museum 2021. And then do a JPEG because that's all I need a high res JPEG maximum. And then I can go over here. Not DGI, go to Smug Mug. I can go over here into my account. And then I can go upload into an existing gallery. Go to Batavia, done, browse, and go right over here to Batavia Gallery. I can sort by date added, and here we go. So it's syncing to the cloud, so it's backed up. And voila. So now I have this image that we worked with an iPhone 12 Pro Max that's capable of being printed. And as you see, I'm going to scroll down. I got a lot of images in this gallery. It's still processing. It's a smaller file, so I'll refresh it. It'll probably be processed already. And voila. Watermarked. Ready to go. I can go ahead right here, share a link, copy it, and then go to Facebook or something and... There we go. At least we have an iPhone file that will be working for us and actually making us money. So again, the raw file, you can do this with the JPEG, but the raw will give you that much more flexibility and you kind of feel like a real photographer being able to capture, especially if you shoot raw all the time, which I do and a lot of people do as professional photographers. You kind of feel more legit using your iPhone in this workflow. So I'm hoping this helps guys. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. A quick little video. This is a shorter video, I hope. And I had a couple others that I recorded that were a little longer. Let me know if you prefer the longer or shorter videos that are more to the point. And let me know if this worked for you. And give me some input on what you'd like to see out of me for 2021. And I'll work to help make that a reality. So Happy New Year, guys. Aloha. Peace. Bye.